Hey everybody, it's me again, and I'm in the kitchen. So you know what that means. I'm gonna be doing something amazing. <laughs> On today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to make the world's best guacamole, so stick around. All right, so I've had a few people request that I do a video showing everybody how to make my famous guacamole. And uh, there's really no secret recipe or ingredient that nobody knows about that makes my guacamole so good. Uh, mainly just using fresh ingredients is the key. But I'm gonna take you step by step into how I make my guacamole, and I guarantee you guys are gonna like it. So, let me change my camera angle so you can see exactly what I'm doing and I'll walk you through the entire process. Alright, so this is everything that I use in my guacamole and it's not a whole lot, which is fine because some of the best things in life are very simple. Let's start with the avocado. Now for those of you who don't know how to pick out a good avocado, first you want to look at the color of the skin. It's going to be a brownish black color and then you want to squeeze it a little bit. There's going to be some give, which is what you want, because when it's ripe and ready to use, there's going to be a little bit of give to it, but not too much, because if it feels mushy on the inside, chances are it's starting to go bad, and when you cut into it, it's going to be like a brownish black color, and it's not going to taste good. Second, you're going to want red onion, about a quarter of a cup, about a quarter of a cup of tomato diced up, and one thing that I forgot at the grocery store, which I'm kind of kicking myself for, is a fresh jalapeno. I always put a fresh jalapeno in there because it makes a huge difference. But fortunately, I had a jar of the sliced jalapenos in the refrigerator. So I diced that up, and I'm going to use that. I really don't think it's going to affect the flavor too much. But <laughs> because I'm so OCD, I know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to taste the difference. But in a pinch... You can use whatever you have around the house to, to add whatever flavors you want. Uh, garlic, I don't normally keep fresh garlic in the house, but this stuff actually works really well. So if you're cooking or you just need garlic in something, and this stuff is already minced, it's very convenient to keep, and honestly, it tastes just as good as using the fresh stuff. So I use this, about a tablespoon, or a, I'm sorry, about a teaspoon of the minced garlic. Now we got fresh cilantro. I actually grew up in Los Angeles, so I've been eating Mexican food my entire life, and cilantro, I think, has become nostalgic to me, and I love it in almost every single thing that I eat. It's just, it's like the perfect herb, in my opinion, and it really, really makes the guacamole taste amazing. So, you can use as much or as little as you want, I chopped up about, uh, I don't know if you want to call that an eighth of a cup, but it's not an exact science. And then you want a uh, about a half of a medium sized lime, and then salt and pepper to taste. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to set my phone up so you can see exactly what it is that I'm doing, and uh, I'll see you in a second. Okay, now first step, you're going to want to cut your avocados. And uh, how you do that is you cut it right in half, place the knife into the middle of it, and then rotate it around the blade. And then you just twist it apart. Now do that for each avocado. And just be very, very careful because it is very dangerous to do this. Fortunately, I haven't cut myself doing this. <laughs> and hopefully I don't jinx myself. Alright, avocado number three. And if you want to know a neat little trick to get the seed out, which is also kind of dangerous. You take the knife and then you just kind of go down with it and then twist it and the seed will pop right out. And what I normally do is I'll take a fork or a spoon or whatever and I'll just 
knock it off <laughs> of the knife. That didn't go as smoothly as I was expecting, but do that with the other two. Pop it off. And number three. Oh well. <laughs> and I don't need the knife for anything else now. But I do need a big spoon so I can scoop out the flesh of the avocado. Alright, I've got my big spoon. And then you just insert it into the very edge of the avocado. And you should get the entire thing out in one scoop. Sometimes there's a little bit left in there and you can just kind of scrape the inside. But the one thing that you want to make sure is that you don't get the where the stem of the avocado is because sometimes that will come off into it. I'm going to speed up this part so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me. All right, and I know what you're thinking. Yeah, I dropped half of an avocado on the counter, but you know what? At least it didn't fall on the floor. <laughs> Celebrate the little things, right? And that's fine. Just take a paper towel and it'll wipe right up. Okay, now before you add any of the other ingredients, take your fork and let me move these out of the way here. And you just mash the avocado with the fork. Why do I do it this way and not with the food processor or a blender? Honestly, I do it because I don't like creamy avocado. I like it to be chunky. And see, see what I'm talking about? Here is one of the, the uh, stem parts of the avocado. You don't want that in your guac because it's not going to be good if you bite into that. But yeah, you just take the, uh, take the fork and you just continue to mash all the avocado until there's no large pieces left. And because it's nice and soft, it doesn't take that long to do. And then I just scrape it all off of the sides and make sure that it's all down in the bottom of my container here. Okay, now we can start adding our ingredients. Starting with the red onion, and the tomato, the jalapeno, and the cilantro. Yeah, you're gonna want all that cilantro, especially if you're like me. And uh, you can get a little salt in there, a little salt. And a little bit of pepper. And by a little, I mean a good amount. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and open up the garlic. And I said a teaspoon. But if it's a little bit rounded, that's perfectly fine because I love my garlic. And then you got your half lime. So go ahead and 
squeeze as much of that juice in here as you can. And using that fork, go ahead and mix everything together. And yeah, I know I made a mess on the counter, but you know what? There was an old Carl's Jr. commercial that uh, featured a basketball player. And their, their slogan at the time was, if it doesn't get all over the place, it doesn't belong in your face. So that's something that's kind of stuck with me over the years. And, you know, I think they make a good point. And really, that is it. Now, tell me, tell me that doesn't look delicious. But there's only one way to find out for sure. Let me grab a tortilla chip and give it a little taste. <laughs> oh man, that, that is the stuff that dreams are made of. Perfect amount of salt, perfect amount of pepper and lime, like all the flavors just work together. And honestly, even adding the sliced jalapeno from the jar, it, it works. It's still good if you can use the fresh stuff, but one of the best things that you can do when you're working in the kitchen is know what flavors work together and know what you can use to substitute for other things that you may not have handy. But that was it. Simplest guacamole you can make, but it's one of the best things that you will ever eat. <laughs> so until my next video, you guys take care. Enjoy.